Eh? Eh? Well, I spent my life savings on lighting and camera equipment. Am I a real YouTuber yet? You know, I've got this great big studio and I wanted to try out some new looks. And I, I think this one's pretty good, to be honest. Uh, you know, I've got the sort of tech tuber table look. More on that in a bit, but I just, uh, I, I think it's popping off pretty good. But enough about the new look for the moment. Let's get into some reacting. But before I do, if you're interested in learning more about songwriting, you're definitely gonna wanna check out my course. It's called Complete Rock and Metal Songwriting. You can find it at the link in the description or just go to howsongsaremade.com. I love Muse, I love Muse. I haven't really kept up with them lately, so we're gonna react to Muse Compliance. Muse, do you say Muse or Muse? I don't know, here we go. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Compliance. We just need your compliance You will feel no pain anymore No Ooh. more defiance We just need That's your compliance That's a great keyboard sound What is that? Just give us your compliance oh. Harmonies, chord changes feel Yeah! All right. Do as you're told. No choice for Take it down a bit first, that's fine. Running cold, we lose control. The world will fall apart. Love of your life will mend your broken heart. Life lived in fear, you need protection. You're Pills. all alone, too much rejection. Little. We have what you need, just reach out and touch. Sounds like we the Night Rider theme. You. A little bit. We just need your compliance. Yeah, spit that we pill into the sky. Alright. Because I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier, because I've heard that they've been doing some heavier stuff on this album. So far, it's just nice. They were in we'll keep you masks from of the band. What is going on in this soldier, video? You'll do the dirty work. Stay loyal to us. We'll take away the hurt. We have the lyrics are kind of stupid. Just reach out and search. We can save you. Just give us your compliance. We just need your compliance. Phrygian twist. This is that same guitar riff that we've been hearing, but now it's synthy. Compliance. We just need your compliance. That sounds like a uh, vocoder. Little shaker to kick up that last chorus. I like it. All of a sudden, it's got like a bit of a swing to it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's a very confusing sound right there, though. The last chord of the chorus. Pliance, 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 pliance. Well, Bellamy and the boys, back again. Coming back to the middle. Lot to unpack here. But first, I know you've been dying to know a little bit more about the new setup. You've been looking at me this whole time going like, what, he's not gonna talk about it at all? 
I am. I've been trying out some different looks in the new studio and I wanted something a little more like YouTubery. I wanted a desk, another sit stand desk. I know, I know, how many does one person need? The answer is two, exactly two, which is how many I have now. So, FlexiSpot was kind enough to send by this Kana bamboo standing desk and it's perfect. I like it so very much. They are sponsoring this video today. I'm using the uh, 55 by 28 inch top. I made sure to get one that was big enough for what I wanted, but also was small enough to fit underneath my other standing desk. It's Russian nesting desks. There's something about the bamboo top that just makes me want to touch it a lot. Ergonomics are extremely important to me. I'm a bit of a workaholic, so I need a really good sit stand desk and I need something that I can in a second go from sitting to standing. The Kana bamboo desk has this cool little feature where you can have three different heights that are preset and you just push one button and it goes automatically up to that height, boom, and you're done. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of this desk in upcoming videos and if you think it's cool, you like it, you wanna get one of your own, check out the link in the description for $30 off of one for yourself. Let's break down this song. What's going on in this song? A couple very, very spicy moments. I will say right off the bat, I, I think I was expecting the song to really drop at some point and give us a big heavy part because although I have not actually listened to it yet, because I'm saving it for a reaction, I've been told that they had uh, their first single from the album was super heavy. And uh, I was like, okay, cool. I wanted to start with this one because it's newer and it's still awesome. It's great, but uh, zero heavy. And I think I went in with false expectations because I listened to Hearsay. Not really a good way to go about anything, but I liked the musical part of this song. I liked pretty much everything about it. I kind of feel like the lyrics are, are a bit dumb. They feel forced to me. It feels like he's trying to make a point and has sacrificed the sort of sing-songiness of it in, in order to like just say the message. Kind of corny, to be honest. Compliance, defiance, like, it's definitely not one of their masterpieces. There's some wacky shit going on in here. Then we gotta we gotta take pull this apart. Let's see what's going on. So these chords. We just need your compliance. Pretty simple chords, but what they're doing is playing with some suspensions and some other things like sixths, I think. Taking the same basic chord and sort of creating different versions of it. The root doesn't change. They're just spicing it up, kind of going out and then coming back. That kind of thing. Check out the bass Just give us your compliance. We won't let you feel love. I didn't notice that the first time. No more, no more that is some busy bass. It's the dude's going crazy. Muse has some of the best bass lines in popular rock music. That is for damn sure. They, they get away with a lot, considering how huge of a band they are. Busy bass lines, I find, generally tend to be reserved for uh, less popular music, to be honest. It's pretty rare that we hear something so active in a very, very popular song. Um, this one has left a lot of room for it, but like, he's, I mean, he's going ham on the bass line. It's pretty rare that a producer's like, you know what would be great right here in the song? What if you fucking shredded your tits clean off on the bass? Yeah, man, I can do that. Let's fucking go. Of course, during the verse, it's mostly bass providing a harmonic context. There's very, very light add in the background. So we get here. And then we get the Knight Rider guitar hinting at the bridge. Very slick change. Let's hear that again. Woo. Going right into that second verse, right out of the chorus. Nothing in between, just cut the fat right out. Like when they do this live, he's not even gonna be able to, he's gonna have to pick one of those lines, either the one going into or coming out. I guess I think it's a little weird that the chorus is kind of the, almost the same dynamic level as the verse. 
Uh, I usually expect it to open up at least a bit. That's what I expect, but I guess I shouldn't expect their compliance. There's certainly no rule that says that you have to do that. There's none. There's no rules at all in songwriting. It doesn't exist. I think it feels a little anticlimactic. It seems like the only thing that changes throughout the choruses is that we get kind of this shaker egg in the final one. Right. Yeah, it's still like a close off hi hat. And no, it feels a bit small. More like a dance song than rock, which is great. One of the best things about Muse is that they do whatever the fuck they want. That's great. I'm gonna take these off again. That's great because you don't know what to expect from them and they're always gonna try something different. And without that, especially in a band that's this popular, without that kind of pushing the envelope, we're gonna get the same songs over and over again. We're gonna just have our basic expectations fulfilled over and over again, and nothing's ever gonna change. Songwriting is never going to move forward. So I love it when bands do things that they, you know, that made me go like, wait, why did you do that? That's not what I what thought was gonna happen here. Doesn't it make more sense to defy people's expectations and to play around with them? Usually what happens is a big chorus will open up a bit. You know, the drummer will go to the ride or a crash or open up the hi-hat or something. They were like, no, I don't think that we will. I think we'll stick to what we've been doing, which is what they've done here. It's a little bit disco. I kind of feel like a disco feel has come back around to being kind of cool again. Uh, Dua Lipa uses some disco-esque things and actually a, a sort of similar move with the chorus not being big and open. In her song, Don't Start Now, the chorus actually is the most stark part of the whole song. You think it's gonna pop right off and all of a sudden all the instruments drop away except for the drums, a crazy noty bass line, very busy bass line and the vocal and like maybe a couple other like little things, but it is very, very stark and super simple. It's not really that here, but they didn't crack it wide open, and that's very unusual, I think. I don't think it's necessarily important whether or not your chorus become a lot bigger, more open, or smaller and tighter. I kind of just think that having a, a, a dynamic change that sort of signifies to the listener, like, this is another part of the song, and something about the arrangement changing noticeably is, is really the most important hallmark of of going to any other part of the song in a sort of basic verse chorus bridge format like this, it's usually from the verse to the chorus. And then once again, um, often when it comes to the bridge, yet another texture change. Huge thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video with their Kana Bamboo Sit Stand Desk. And if you wanna get one of your own, link in the description for 30 bucks off. And if you enjoyed my reaction and breakdown of this song from a songwriting perspective, you're gonna wanna check out more Songwriter Reacts videos in this playlist right here. And I'll see you real soon.